is Jade, and today we're talking about how to grow on TikTok in 2020. If you're anything like me, I feel like we're all obsessed with TikTok, but we don't really know how the algorithm works. Today's video, I'm gonna break it down in a data point of view so you guys know how to analytically look at your TikTok data and maybe help you grow some more followers. So that's what we're gonna do today, and if you wanna know, all you gotta do is keep on watching. All right, guys, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Jade, and I combine psychology and marketing to give you guys some advice about how to keep relevancy in this age of social media. So today we're focusing on TikTok. I made two videos about TikTok in the past, so if you want to know how to monetize your brand and how TikTokers make money, I will link those videos in the description box below. But today's video is all about growth, so grab a snack, and we're just going to dive into the first initial tip you need to understand, which is how TikTok pushes video. So TikTok is a social media platform that's focused on vertical video, and they have two formats. There's like 15 second video and there's 60 second video. So this goes hand in hand for each format. But today I'm going to focus on the 15 seconds because what TikTok does is they have these stages where if you pass a certain watch time or second mark, they're going to start to push your video onto more for you pages. Now the for you page is kind of like the explore page. And if your video lands on people's for you page, that means you get noticed. So that's the biggest way to grow on TikTok is allowing the platform to push your video onto people's for you page. Now, in order to do that, you have to fundamentally know one thing, which is watch time. TikTok basically evaluates if your video is good by seeing how long people watch it. So let's just take a 15 second video. For example, I have this video that hits 1.8 million views, I believe on TikTok. I don't mean to flex, but I just do want to show you guys how this video hit 1.8 million views by looking at the watch time. So in my personal experience, I just really think that TikTok looks at kind of like three segments, you could say. The first three seconds, the first five seconds, and then 10 seconds. So say your video gets watched by a majority of people for only three seconds, TikTok's going to label that video as like less quality and less enticing to a viewer. So because of that, if your video maybe only gets watched a few seconds, they're starting to promote it to maybe a few dozen people, right? Not too many. But if your video surpasses the three second mark and maybe goes to the second part, which is the five second mark, TikTok's gonna look at that and be like, okay, I'm gonna promote it to maybe a thousand people. Now, so what I find is if your video surpasses, say the 10 second mark to maybe the, all the way to the end, then TikTok says like, wow, this video has a high watch time, which means people are staying on the platform. I'm gonna promote it to a million people. So basically they have these different layers and like, I guess stages and really depends on how engaging your video is. So what I'm gonna do is kind of show you some of my analytics from the video that hit 1.8 million views to see if this is really true. I could be making this up out of my ass, but I could also be onto something. So let's take a look at my data from the video that went viral. So I have my phone up. This video with 1.8 million views, the average watch time is 13 seconds. So as you can see, TikTok's like, wow, most people are watching it above X long. So I'm gonna promote it to more people. Now let's take a look at maybe a lower performing video and how long people were watching that. So this video only has, let's say 10,000 views, which is still a lot, but definitely not 1.8 million. So let's take a look at what happened here. So a video with 10,000 views got around four seconds of watch time. So as you can see here, watch time is everything on TikTok. The longer you can retain an audience, the more TikTok's gonna be like, yo, it's a good video, let me push it. So now that you know how the algorithm works, what you can do to leverage this is make sure your content has three important things. Now, before we go over those three important things, I quickly wanna give a huge announcement. As you guys know, if you click on this video, you wanna grow on TikTok or grow a social media following. I actually have a solution for you. If you want to learn more about TikTok and actually learn from creators themselves, I have an event called the Green Room Live. <laughs> This is a two-day conference on how you can build your brand and get viral success and learn how to make money from that. We actually have my friend Selena, who has a million followers on TikTok, who's going to be speaking at this event, which is insane. We have a bunch of other creators also coming. There's over 150 seats. Go grab your tickets before it's sold out, and I literally can't wait. I learned a lot, especially from a lot of people I looked up to. You get good advice. I made a lot of connections. You guys know that I don't promote anything on this channel that I don't 110% believe in. So yeah, go check the link in the description box to sign up for the Green Room Live and get your tickets. Let's jump back in today's video. Leverage this is make sure your content has three important things. First of all, it has a beginning, middle, and end. You know, people really stay to the end of a story if it's enticing and there's something to look forward to. In a lot of my videos that go viral, I maybe introduce a problem and I solve it at the end, right? Whether it's me giving my dad a vegan egg and getting his reaction at the end, or it's a video of me showing people about my skincare routine and showing the final result. You need to have a beginning, middle, and end, and storyline is everything. Just to make it simple, just think about what is a problem and why are people staying to the end? Once you have those two elements, people will watch longer and you're gonna find your watch time will increase. Two, in order to kind of take this further, I find what works really well is parts and series. So say you can't have everything you want in a video, just break it up into two parts. Uh 
<laughs> this Starbucks video has 1.8 million views as well. I don't know why everything's like 1.8. But anyways, yeah, I've created two parts. And what happens is people watch the first part, but they're curious about the second, so they'll watch more. The important thing about TikTok is making sure you have follow-up, and there's almost a reason for people to continue watching. You don't want people to drop off because you start to make different videos. So having series and parts really helps with continuing your engagement throughout all the content you make. And my last tip to grow on TikTok to make sure you guys are appearing on more For You pages is ask the viewer to like and comment. Like a lot of the times when I'm viewing on TikTok, it's so easy to scroll to give people a reason to follow and like. What I did on my TikTok bio is I'm giving away Starbucks gift cards if people help me reach 100,000 subscribers or followers. So it's something to keep in mind that you have to entice and engage the viewer and say, hey, don't forget to like and comment. You don't obviously have to do it if it's cringy, but I find that here and there really helps convert your viewers into fans and it will keep that engagement and community going. So with that being said, I hope this video was helpful for anyone starting their TikTok journey. I definitely have tons of fun on TikTok. I don't really know exactly how to turn it into like a business yet. I'm really just having fun. So if you guys want to go follow me on TikTok, it's literally none of, none of the content that I talk on YouTube is existent on TikTok. It's purely fun and jokes. You can see my dad and I have fun, my friends hang out. So yeah, it's super casual and more entertainment based. I think the biggest thing I want you guys to take away is to have fun in TikTok and hopefully learn a few things about the algorithm and data to grow your brand. I'll catch you guys in the next one and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you text my phone number and I'll see you in my next episode. This is actually going to be a three-part series, so if you guys want to watch more social media growth videos, subscribe and like this video. See? I'm using my own techniques. All right. Bye, guys. Hey Kathy, how are you doing in Rise of Kingdoms? Couldn't be better. I have one million power. Wow, good for you. You know, I have five million power. Looks like I'm still the Alliance's leader. Oh, oh sorry, are you guys um, world's greatest and universe greatest? I just attacked both of your cities. <laughs> what? How could you? Well, I started the game with a quick aggressive build in the early game, and then I chose a remote starting point to develop my kingdom. I can quickly harvest all my resources around to upgrade my main city. I was then able to swift train the cavalry units and then send out scouts to spy on my enemies and find you two. You didn't have your shield up, so it was easy. What? Happy? Fire him? Now! No, I want him to teach me how to play ROK. <laughs> Come and conquer. Play now.